so I just finished breakfast. Leftover meat, rice, and kimchi that I put away in the fridge. Um, there's my stool in the kitchen for the rice cooker there. So now um, I'm going to do my nebulizer, which is a breathing treatment for people with asthma and respiratory problems. It's really hard to get three, four times in a day on the weekdays, but since it's Saturday, I'm going to do a morning dose right now. So I just showered, and I'm trying to figure out what to wear, which I feel like I have nothing to wear, even though I keep buying clothes. Okay, so I just finished my makeup. I tried on like five billion shoes. Cannot decide which shoe to wear. So I'm just going to probably end up wearing the same shoes I always end up wearing. I have not not looked like death in like almost two months, I feel like. I feel like I've been looking like death for the last month. So I forced myself to not look like death. And there's my cute chihuahua. Oh, I feel so bad. Oh, it's actually really cold. So here's my car. And I will show you guys my pedals. Oh my god, it's disgusting right now. But Okay, so here is my car seat. And there are my pedals. My car is gorgeous. So there's the pedals and these are the extensions. Hi, babe. I'm here at Japanese ramen restaurant with my friend. And now we're going to devour this. So I'm back home now. I'm really bad at this vlogging thing. After the short clip of the lamyeon, I basically didn't record anything. We just ate and then we got um, some coffee and dessert at Starbucks, none of which I recorded. I really need to get better at this. So I thought about not making this, uploading this or making this video because there's literally like, there's nothing to it. It's like a clip of lamyeon and me saying, I'm getting ready, I'm done getting ready. But I figured I would upload it because, I mean, this is a common Saturday for me on my days that I don't want to do anything. So after this, I will probably just, I'm going to change, take my makeup off, and I'm going to get in bed and watch Netflix. I mean, this is one of my stay in typical weekend days, so that really is the, my life, so part of my life, so I just thought I'd upload it. I mean, I'm not going to just upload the glamorous stuff, like when I go out and have lots of fun with all my friends, but I am a homebody, so... Anyway, so instead of fun, exciting clips of me out in the world, I just wanted to talk about how today's conversation with my friend and yesterday with a different friend and the day before, I noticed a pattern. I feel like the older I get, the more clueless I am I'm like about everything in life. Literally, I feel like... You know, at 16, you're like a teenager, so you kind of like, or 13, you kind of finally start like thinking for yourself. And then you're 16 and you think you're so cool. And then you're 21 and you're like, oh, I was so dumb at 16. I'm so much more wiser at 21. And you can like drink and you're a little bit more independent, not fully, but you know, you're like, oh, I'm in college, I'm educated, I've seen more of the world. But then like, suddenly at 27, I'm like, no. I do not know anything about the world. Like what I know is that I don't know anything and I feel like it's just getting more and more confusing, like in all aspects of life. I thought at 27 I would have like a lot more figured out, but I think I'm literally just like, I feel like I don't have anything <laughs> figured out still at 27. And I really hope it's not just me. So if you're also feeling like this, welcome to the world. You're not alone. At least my friends and I are on the same boat. Like everything, it's just like, I feel like there's no black and white answer. Everything is just, I don't know. I think, I think it's this. I think I should do this, but for the most part, generally, I'm just like, even now, I, I just feel like I don't know what I'm doing with my life. Now, like, 
watching shows like Friends and How I Met Your Mother and being their age that they were on the show. Like, so relatable because I'd be like, okay, you're like 28. Chandler and you don't know what you're doing yet or what you want to do. I know it's just a TV show, but now I see how it's like actually based on real life. I don't know. 27 is just an awkward age. I have friends that are popping out like their second kid and I still have friends that are hot mess. <laughs> Losing their cell phone at the club. Another promiscuous, exciting rendezvous shenanigans. So I'm just like at this awkward age where it's like, okay, what am I supposed to do? Hey, thanks for watching again. This was a really boring video, I know, but my next few should be a little bit more funner. So stay tuned. And once again, thanks for watching and bearing with me through my, um, my non voice. I just cannot wait to have like my normal, normal health back and my normal voice back. Hope you guys have a good weekend and subscribe follow my instagram check out my website all of that jazz goodness what's jazz goodness if not that's fine thanks for watching